Hi guys, I just thought I'd throw together a quick assembly video for this uh, 3D printed Inspire 2 ground handle. It's pretty simple, it's seven 3D printed components. You have the front upper, two front lowers, a upper rear and two lower rears, and of course the handle. You'll need like a six and a quarter inch long, quarter 20 threaded rod. If you get six inch, it'd be more than enough. I bought a 12 inch portion and cut it down a little long just to be safe. Two uh, quarter 20 wing nuts. I got a couple 3D printed washers. You could use um, lock washers if you want, but you have to be careful because the lock washers will dig into the plastic. So you should use some type of flat washer between the plastic and the lock washer. Uh, eight uh, three millimeter by 20 millimeter long bolts and eight three millimeter nuts uh, there is there is room for 12 nuts and bolts but I don't think it's necessary so I'm just gonna use four four on each and I think that'll be enough so assembly is pretty simple we'll start with the rear here's a here's the outside portion of the rear so you have the three and three holes are, are all clearance holes now with the rear it can stay together all the time because it'll just slide on so that's kind of nice I, I am going to have to work on the front because you have to remove one portion in order to get it on off which is not a big deal and i think we'll show in the video that you can get it together pretty quickly i mean i know i spend more time cleaning lenses and changing nd filters and i think it would take to put this on so it's not a huge hassle as it is right now but i'll just go ahead and do you know quick assembly for you so i'm just going to use the outermost hole, outermost holes it's pretty straightforward um just slide them in uh as far as loctite's concerned you can use it if you want i'm not super concerned with it being that it's on the ground and i don't have to worry about it vibrating loose i will say be very careful with loctite and the 3d plastic because the they don't get along very well. So if you're going to use Loctite, um, use a stick kind. So I'll go ahead and put this together real quick. And like I said, this back portion will stay together all the time. So this will not be, you'll just do this one time and that'll be it. It's pretty straightforward. You probably could even use like a lock nut if you wanted to. I don't think again I don't think it's necessary but I'm using a plastic washer on the back side of these bolts to uh, kind of spread out the, the load a little bit I'll just cinch them down real quick here hopefully you guys can hear me all right I got my furnace running in the background of course it doesn't want to shut off now that I'm trying to do a video so this is gonna just, this will be facing out on the drone and it'll just slide on over your batteries and everything. <clears throat> so that, that one's done right there. And the front, same thing. Slide the bolts in. Make sure I don't get my towel grab. Well, actually this side, I'm gonna leave this side off because you need to leave one off to install it on the Inspire. So I'm right handed, I'm gonna wanna start on the right side. So I'm gonna leave that portion off. And just to just install this side for now. Uh, <clears throat> these were printed in PLA, which is a little bit of a stiffer material. It's not quite as strong as like ABS or PETG, but I pretty much given up on printing on ABS because it really, although it is more flexible, it's a real pain to print with, and it just doesn't turn out very well. PEG, PETG seems to be awesome. I don't know if anybody's seen the uh, the clamps I made for the motor mounts. I printed those in PETG, and I sold a few sets to a guy in Puerto Rico after the the hurricane. And <clears throat> I actually bought one set, and then he used them the whole time after the hurricane in, in those you know hot, humid conditions. And he ordered another set for a second Inspire that he bought, and he seemed to have really good luck. So the PET, PETG is strong and flexible. Um, so I may consider printing these again in PETG, although I, I want the stiffness of the PLA, so, and you'll see why, because you don't want a lot of flex when you're running around with this. So this is, uh, like I said, I'm just going to print or put this portion together. Here's the handle. There are holes for M3 bolts if you want to use them, 
it'll it'll tap itself but you know i think over time if you keep taking it apart put it together you're gonna you know the threads aren't gonna hold up so i'm gonna use the the quarter 20 threaded rod and that's it that's more than enough so that just sits in there like that i'm gonna put the one of these plastic washers on here with the quarter 20 wing nut slide it in like this and that'll be it so the next video will be installing it on the drone thanks all right guys so part two of this video is the installation on the inspire 2 uh, it's kind of hard to see it's not the brightest conditions in my basement but I can kind of give you a gist of where it connects on the drone so down inside here it's pretty open um, I don't know if that's a servo or if the servo is above, but they're, the only thing that's really down on this plate is the, the upper portion of the dampener, which we don't interfere with. And then on the back, we're basically using this rail to rest on. We're not interfering with any sensors. So I'll go ahead and put it on for you. So like I said previously, I'll put the handle on ahead of time, and then this side I leave attached. I'll just have to bolt this side on. So I'll put it in at a little angle here. Push it on, it's pretty simple. Turn it to this side maybe, hopefully you can see it's really dark inside there, but this, I just push this in at like a little bit of an angle. Get it in all the way. You have to line this up a little bit. It goes in. The back one's a little harder to get to. You have to use a, a tool to find the hole. There we go. Now I have to turn it this way. It's a little bit hard for me to do this, trying to video and everything, but put the nut on there. Using my other tool here, hopefully I get it lined up. Okay, we got that going. We get the other one here. And this is something I'll probably try to work on is maybe finding an easier way to do this. But, you know, it's, it takes a couple minutes. I've done it a few times. It's not too bad. The back is actually a lot nicer. So the back will go on this way. You just slide it in. It rides along those rails at the bottom. It clears the batteries. You just line it up with that. I'll take my plastic washer my wing nut, put it on, paint it down. Uh, if you want to use an O-ring, there's a spot for an O-ring down here. Probably not necessary, but, and this really isn't the right length O-ring, but I'll, I'll use it. smaller o-ring that fit would be a lot nicer so obviously I don't have a camera on here and I can put one on if people want to see with the camera I don't have an X5S or the X7 I have a X4S so I'm a low-end uh, aerial guy but that's it I mean it's pretty it's pretty sturdy I mean I know I don't have the camera on it but I mean it's not floppy I'm putting some stress on it you know, this way is this not really where the design strength is, but I don't see an issue with that. I mean, I can still put some stress on it without it breaking. But I'm putting quite a bit of stress, more than anything you would do under normal conditions. And then obviously you can still, you can still remove your batteries, put them in, with it on there. It doesn't interfere with that at all. So yeah, that's it guys. And the same thing for taking it apart. Take the two nuts off that side. Pull that side out. It's pretty simple. Thanks, guys.